Hello, my name is Megan Fuentes. I'm the Administrative Assistant for Writer's Atelier, and this is my Write Gym workbook. I've used the steps in this book to create my 2024 writing goals, and I'm going to share those with you today. My hope is that sharing my goals will inspire you, or remind you maybe, to create some actionable writing goals you're excited to tackle in the new year or whenever you are in your writing journey. So I came to this goal setting session already knowing what I wanted to work on in 2024, but the workbook has six pages of great goal suggestions for productivity, motivation, skill building, networking, marketing, and even health and wellness if you're having trouble coming up with your own goals. The initial pages in the workbook are actually all about why having the right mindset is so crucial to this process and why setting goals is so important to level up in your writing career, which really gets you excited to dive into making your goals. After you have an idea for what you want to work on, the workbook gives an overview of SMART goals, which you'll know all about if you're in Writer's Atelier's group coaching and accountability program that sparked the idea for this workbook, the Write Gym. For those who may not know, SMART in this case stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Relevant, and Time Bound. I'll go over how each of my goals are SMART goals too, so you'll have some examples. One thing that our founder Raquel Henry did when she created this workbook is give us different sentence starters for our yearly wants or our goals as I'm using them. So I made one goal for each sentence starter, uh, which you can see me writing here. The first one is I want to stop abandoning projects. So what I really mean by this is I'm, uh, to get even more specific, is that I want to finish more projects than I abandon. Um, that's measurable, you know, just by, you know, how many projects have I abandoned or finished versus how many projects did I start? It's achievable by evaluating projects before I start writing and making sure that I don't write anything without the outline in front of me and making sure that all every project I take on is absolutely what I want to be my next step in my writing career. Um, it's relevant because I actually want to publish something this year. I haven't been publishing because I've been um, I've been creating a lot of rough drafts, not taking them any further, and I don't want to I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna give myself the time of a year to like stop that and start publishing again. I want to try new writing venues. So to be more specific, I want to. Uh, try a new writing venue within walking distance because there are a lot of cafes around. Um, measurable, obviously I'm going to have 12 new places to go. I will have to find. And it's achievable because I'm going to make sure they're all within walking distance so that I can just like leave the house if I feel like it one week and go find somewhere to write. It's relevant because being in a new place, like a new cafe, is really, I find really motivating for writing. And time bound, obviously, I'm gonna do that once a month. My third goal is that I want to learn marketing strategies for my chosen publishing path and genre. Obviously, the specifics of that are going to pertain to the genres and the path, which right now I'm indie published. Genres, I'm all over the place, really. <laughs> Measurable, I'm going to add these marketing strategies to probably like a Google Doc. I'll probably also post about them as I learn about them on the Writer's Atelier blog because I love to do that. Achievable, there are obviously Writer's Atelier classes on marketing I can take. I try to take every Writer's Atelier class. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for others. As a matter of fact, we have one coming up if you're watching this before February 22nd, which is Candy Steiner's Building a Fandom, which I am so excited about. If you miss it, you can obviously catch it on the replay, but I'm, I'm gonna be there live. I'll have information about that in the description. Relevant, obviously, because if I can market the books, then I can sell my books, and I would love to make some money on my books. I don't have money as a huge major goal, but it would be nice to make a little pocket change. And obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the full 12 months to do it. So I want to continue to maintain my For the Word streak. So if you don't know, I use For the Words, which is a RPG for writers where you battle monsters, which means you're writing a specific number of words within a given time limit. So it's specific because in order to keep your streak on for the words, you need to write at least 444 words a day, measurable because I'm going to do that 365 days a year. And it's achievable because I can write on my laptop or on mobile. So I know that it's something I can do no matter 
basically no matter what my circumstances are relevant because obviously you have to have right to have a writing career and you know it's going to be 365 days a year. My streak is already longer than a year. That's going to be that's going to be achievable for me. I want to have a reliable revision process. To be more specific, I wanted to nail down what all the steps are and how I go about them and then put it in my writer's notebook, which I use to contain all of my like writing craft things, like different story structures. It's going to be measurable because I'm going to add them to the index of my writing notebook. I'm going to achieve this obviously by revising a lot this year. Irrelevant obviously because you have to revise something to have something good enough to publish. And I want to do this within the year. I would be surprised if it, if it took me less than 12 months. And I want to be a writer who averages a thousand words a day. So to give you some context, I usually average around 500 to 800 words a day, but I want, I want to be closer to writing a thousand words a day. Um, that's obviously, you know, very specific. It's very measurable because the For the Words site counts that for me. If you are not on For the Words or if you have no interest in it, we have, um, we have a word count tracker, a multi-project word count tracker that's available for free, which I will link down below. And I also have a blog post published recently as I'm recording this about other places you can track your word count. And I will link that below as well. Achievable, obviously, because I'm going to be writing every day and tracking the word count. It's done automatically and I can see it in my stats on my profile. Relevant, obviously, because the more words you write, Ideally, the more projects I'm going to end up finishing, which I can then revise, which will help me with the other goals. And I'm going to be doing this 365 days a year, so it's time bound. Now, we also have some reflecting questions to answer here, which I'm going to do. So what must I do in the new year is continue to improve my craft. I think that's more important than anything. That's why I have the writer's notebook that I have. Like craft is everything in my opinion. What am I hoping will happen with my writing? I want to produce structurally sound first draft. It's not possible to write a perfect first draft, obviously, but I'm very much a believer in nailing the structure of a book as early as possible so that you don't have to do things like rearranging chapters like I'm having to do for my current project. What specific writing goal or dream will I nurture? I want to create a predictable writing workflow that I love. I'm a good part of the way there already, but I want to refine my workflow in 2024, and I'll probably add that to my writer's notebook. The writing habit I'd like to improve is writing before doing anything else. The writing project that calls to my heart is Project Barrel, and that's all I'm saying about that. And in the new year, I want to be a happy, fulfilled, consistent writer. And those are all my writing goals for 2024. I'm going to leave you with this quote, which is the inspirational quote, which is your writing dreams are possible. And I believe that. I believe everyone's writing dreams are possible. It's just a matter of working out how to get there and then, you know, taking those steps. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment, maybe telling us what your writing goals are for 2024. The Write Gym Workbook which you've seen me use here, is available in mint and in pink on our website at writersatelier.com slash WA books, which I will put in the description for you. They're also available in black, actually, at Amazon if you'd like a more neutral aesthetic. And if you're curious about the Write Gym program that inspired this workbook or our free online community, you can check out those links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the new year. Bye!